after rehabilitating from a surgery on his left meniscus last February 6, Joel Embiid has returned to the NBA hardwood but this time with a shoe on his foot that is not from Under Armour. Gone is the Under Armour Embiid 1, in its place the Skechers SKX float, that's right, it's official. Joel Embiid has signed a multi-year shoe deal with Skechers. It comes as no big surprise as rumors have been ripe since late last year and now we finally have confirmation, so let's talk. Welcome back, this is Fresh Bear, smash the thumbs up button, share this video to your friends, follow me on Instagram. If you're new here, subscribe to my channel for updates. That said, let's dive in. On October 21, 2023, I posted a video where I said that there are rumors saying that Joel Embiid is set to leave Under Armour to join another brand. Roll the clip. As of mid-October 2023, rumors have indicated that Joel Embiid is about to sign with Skechers, which means he is done with Under Armour. Not much was known at the time, not even the alleged brand that Joel will be signing with. Regardless, the fact that Joel had to tape or hide the Under Armour logo on the Embiid one only further fueled the speculations, as this signified that his deal with Under Armour was as good as done. Even so, the MB1 had a makeover while the rumors persisted and we were the first to take notice. But what kind of makeover? This one. Throughout most of his years with Under Armour, Joel Embiid has been wearing his first and only signature shoe, the Under Armour Embiid 1. Released in September 2020, the shoe had several performance features, most notable of which is Micro G for the foam midsole. But towards the last quarter of 2023, or three years since it was first released, the Under Armour MB1 had a makeover. Replacing the classic Micro G foam midsole is Under Armour's latest cushioning and outsole tech, the Under Armour Flow. In fact, on December 29, 2023, I posted a video explaining in detail the apparent upgrade to MBE's signature shoe. Roll the clip. Probably the major change or upgrade to the shoe is its cushioning and outsole. Under Armour's Flow technology has been implemented in the Embiid 1, replacing Micro G for the cushioning and the standard solid rubber for the outsole. To this day, Under Armour has not made any related announcement and probably never will. Returning after recovering from a surgery to his meniscus injury last January 30, 2024, Joel MB dropped 24 points, 6 rebounds, and 7 assists against the OKC Thunder on 29 minutes of play. But perhaps the real surprise was what was on his feet on his return. It was the Skechers SKX float. The shoe was one of Skechers' two latest basketball shoes which has been seen worn by Terrence Mann and Julius Randle. The other one is the Skechers SKX Resagrip and we'll see if Embiid himself will also wear the shoe in the coming days. Reviews of the Skechers SKX float have been mixed, but overall the shoe generally performs good although it could be better. But at its price point of $150 or 8,995 pesos in the Philippines, some people would rather buy signature shoes from the other brands, but that's their money and their choice. It's highly likely that Embiid will have his signature shoe with Skechers sooner or later, barring any injuries and assuming he performs consistently good. We can expect Skechers to implement its top-of-the-line cushioning system as the main selling point. Of course, I could be wrong but that's my best guess at this point. In the meantime, let me know what you think about Joel Embiid finally signing with Skechers. Post your thoughts in the comments section, smash the thumbs up button, share this video to your friends, follow me on Instagram. If you're new here, subscribe to my channel for updates. This is Fresh Bear, thanks for watching, peace and love to the fellow underdogs.